Our next guests have just released their brilliant 10th album. It's an absolute masterpiece called Medicine at Midnight. Please welcome the greatest rock band on the planet right now. Foo Fighters are here on the show. How lucky are we all? Look at you. Look at all of that. I'll tell you what, this is a COVID bubble I would like to jump head first into. How are you all doing, fellas? Where in the world are you right now? Uh, we're in our studio right now. We come down here every day and we just rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. And test. And, and yeah. test. Yes. It's a test, test, test. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Test, test, test. <laughs> um, we're preparing for the return of live music. Now, uh, the, you've been together for over 25 years now and this photo, one of you just posted, this is your first ever show. Look at the baby faces here. Look at this. Dave, where was this show? That was a friend of ours had a loft space at this uh, sort of like warehouse downtown Seattle. And we had been practicing on our own. Uh, and, and we finally got to the point where we thought, OK, well, um, maybe some people should hear this. So we didn't want to do like a show show. So we basically got a keg of beer, put it in this loft, invited a bunch of people, waited until they were all plastered. And then we decided to play our first gig in front of the So it was like 1994. Five, spring 95, I think. Spring Nate, like what that. do you remember of this? Were you, were you any good this night, Nate? Uh, well, the intent was there, and we <laughs> were loud. Uh, but I don't think anyone would have guessed that we'd still be around 25 years later. Well, based on that. I mean, honestly, I've got to say this. It's not just that you're around. It's this... Because lots of bands are around, and they stick around, and you'll see posters up that they're playing a show. I honestly feel like this album is so brilliant. I feel like it's right up there amongst your best work, and I know that that is a high bar that you've set yourselves, and you're calling this your, your party album. So, Taylor, tell me, if, if, the, if the foos, if you're throwing a party, what sort of music can we expect on this playlist? <clears throat> Just yacht rock, always, all the time. Oh, that's it. <laughs> now you're talking my language, baby. Yacht rock, straight up. Feels good all the time. Who's the D? I feel like Rami would be the best. I feel like you'd be in charge of the music. Would I be right in thinking that? I would probably put on Saturday Night Fever uh, or some disco. Sensational. Gotta... Chris, what are you throwing in the mix here? Well, I remember when I first joined the band, uh, we had like a big boom box backstage. And before every show, Dave would put on Juvenile. Back that ass up. Oh. So, <laughs> That was like our back that that was that 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 when you back. Oh, come on, what was the jam? I mean, this is the see this mix of yacht rock, Saturday Night Fever, and back that ass up. That is a party for me. But if I'm honest, if I'm truly honest, if there's one person I want to party with in the band, it's Pat. Because Pat, what I didn't know is we share, we share a love for a favorite album, which I never knew. Will you share with us now who your who who your favorite jam? is Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. I mean, come on. What's your favorite? I never had you down as this, Pat. What's your favorite Mariah album? At Butterfly, all the way. I learned to drive to Butterfly. I had a cassette deck and the Butterfly cassette, and it's all I played, and that's how I learned to drive. It's just absolutely sensational. Now, we were talking about this just in the break. There's some festivals, shows have been booked this summer. Now, one of the things I love about a Foo Fighters show, like when I've seen you when I was there at Wembley Stadium, your shows, you give, like, the audience real value. Your shows can be two, three hours long. It's a proper thing. How long do you think your first show back on stage is going to be? I mean, considering we haven't played a show in a year and a half or something like that, I'm guessing it's going to average in between, like, Probably seven to nine hours a night. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, I think you should just take a break in the middle and just play Mariah Carey's Butterfly while you just get a break. That's the way to do it. Well, listen, whenever that day comes, I hope to God that I can be in that sweaty room or that muddy field. I feel like the world is going to need Foo Fighters out there, the other side of this, and they're going to be the, here, the other side of this, because the Foo Fighters will perform right after this break. Come on back.